Well, I came here and I was doing uh, civil engineering, which is mostly infrastructures, uh, water treatment, all around that area. But then I have a class. I had a class my first year, I remember, and uh, it was called engineering by design. And then we were in a team with all sorts of engineers, you know, electrical, acoustical, even biomedical. And then we have to uh, create this robot to help solve a certain issue. And I remember we did one for uh, as a as a guy dog for blind people, but it was this little robot that you can control with a remote control and it had a speaker. And it, I just, I don't know, I got so into the, the whole process of building this little machine that moves and, you know, helps other people that I thought, you know, maybe this is, <laughs> this is what I want to do. So now I'm doing mechanical engineering and you have all sorts of uh, courses, uh, the basic ones, you know, thermodynamics, um, machine design, fluids, you know, heat transfer. You take all these courses. It's a lot of uh, energy focus. You wouldn't think of it that way. It's a lot of theory. I thought it would be a little more hands-on, more uh, practical. But there's a MET, which is mechanical engineering, technical part of the engineering, which is, that's a more hands-on one. The one I'm in, it's all theoretical. It's more designing the part for something, designing a system, a cycle. So if you're into this, you know, it, Try it out. The cool thing is that you can switch pretty much to any engineering in your first two years because the curriculum is the same for all of them. They're the same class as the first few years, and it's not going to set you back too much. So I switched after my first year to mechanical engineering. We have our engineering building in the university, and the, close, the courses are great. You know, it's, uh, They all cap at like 25 people, so that's the maximum you will ever have in a class, which is excellent. And uh, I, now at this point I have some classes which is just seven people, you know, it's amazing. It's really personal, the professor knows you, he knows who you are, he knows what you like, what you like, what you're interested in. So the way it's taught is really more, uh, I would say more dynamic, more uh, like a Socratic dialogue. It's not, a, it's not like a lecture, you know, you go in there and it's actually everyone's putting in their perspective, what they think. It's really nice. In uh, the United States, they're used to doing a lot more homework than we were back home. Uh, for them, a huge part of the learning process, it's homework. You get taught in class, and then you go home, and you know you use what they taught you to solve certain problems. I personally, when I came, I wasn't you know I wasn't aware of the, the importance of homework here. I, I didn't do much homework back home, not because I didn't like to, but because most of the work was done in the classroom. So here, if you really don't do the homework, it's you're losing so many points that they just help you do better. Plus, most of the uh, the exams and they're based on what you did in the homework, you know. So it's really important to get that to understand this before you come. It's a it's a huge part of the process.